Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Karma just came kicking down Omarosa's front door after weeks of trashing Trump. It seems like Omarosa Manigault Newman is managing to anger a lot more people than just those she worked with in the White House these days. According to the Daily Mail, this time Omarosa Manigault Newman and her pastor husband, John Allen Newman, had been hit with a lawsuit over the way they upkeep their moldy Florida home and fetid swimming pool. The neighbors are demanding that attention-starved apprentice, and now White House villain Omarosa and her husband scrub their walls and repair or replace the roof of their $615,000 property. According to the demand they also want neglected areas of dead lawn to be replaced and the pool to be treated with chemicals out of fear for it becoming a biohazard and a breeding ground for mosquitoes. This property is located on an upscale golfing development in suburban Jacksonville. Omarosa's net worth is estimated to be at $3.5 million and is likely to soar now that she published Unhinged which is supposed to be a tell-all book about what went on behind the scenes in the White House and The Apprentice. The book has been called as a work of fiction by most everyone who was at both places and she has contradicted herself multiple times since the book was published about what she actually wrote. Here is more on this via the Daily Mail. Her 63-year-old husband a registered Democrat who worked on former President Barack Obama's 2008 campaign, has faced a string of money troubles, however. The respected leader of the sanctuary of Mount Calvary Church in central Jacksonville has twice filed for bankruptcy, most recently in 2013 with debts of $1,225,764. Three years later, Newman's 2014 Buick LaCrosse sedan was repossessed after he fell behind on his repayments, owing $42,885. GM are still chasing him for the outstanding $23,516 debt, according to court documents filed in June. While Omarosa was one of the highest paid White House staffers in 2017 earning $179,700 per year. Newman declared in his 2014 divorce from ex-wife Andrea Johnson that he made a modest annual income of $48,000. He kept their marital home under the settlement but has since fallen behind in common fees and other charges to the tune of $11,063 according to the Jacksonville Golf and Country Club Property Owners Association. Their suit filed June 26 last year at the Duval County Courthouse, further accuses Newman of ignoring repeated requests to carry out maintenance on the four-bed, 3,000-square-feet property. Officials demanded that he maintain the exterior of home including mold-slash-mildew removal on the roof to return it to an acceptable standard, or if not possible then a complete replacement of the roof. Removal of the dead tree resting on the fence in the backyard. Replacement of the dead grass and maintain the landscape material in an acceptable manner. Complete chemical treatment of the swimming pool to return it to a normal condition to avoid any hazard to neighbors, including potential mosquito problems. The suit adds. To date defendant has failed or refused to make all the necessary repairs. Court records reveal that an attempt at mediation failed in the cases listed for an October 15 hearing. Omarosa and Newman met in Washington, D.C. in 2016 while she was teaching at Howard University and he was working for the non-profit golf My Future My Game which encourages black teenagers to take up the sport. They dated for about a year before he dropped to one knee in the middle of a Sunday service and proposed. Omarosa who is also an assistant pastor at Weller Street Baptist Church in Los Angeles, accepted and now lists her home as Jacksonville on social media. The wedding was originally scheduled to take place at the sanctuary but was relocated to the Trump International Hotel in D.C. amid security concerns and rumored opposition from members of Newman's largely black flock who were reportedly unhappy that he was marrying a close Trump ally. That's not true, I witnessed this proposal and we welcomed it as a joyous occasion said a regular worshipper who declined to give her name. Omarosa is a strong, intelligent, highly educated black woman. I love her. We are all happy to have her here." Another member, Irelene Smith, told DailyMail.com that the Omarosa attends services at her husband's side every week and takes her duties seriously despite her recent media fanfare. I think they are a very close, loving couple working together doing great work in the ministry, said Smith. As for the Trump stuff. I'll let God sort all that out, but I support her, of course." Omarosa was previously married to Aaron Stallworth for five years before the couple split in 2005. Dailymail.com exclusively revealed this week that she went on to have a six-month fling later that same year with Michael Mizek, the corruption-tainted former prime minister of the Turks and Caicos Islands. Can you even imagine what it must be like having to live next to this woman? It's not enough that she is a known liar and backstabber. Now according to this lawsuit we can add slob to the list.
you spend a good amount of money on a home and people like this move in next door. What an awful thought, let's hope the justice system can force these people into upkeeping their home the way they are supposed. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.